desire or that one can curb it is a deeper question altogether, which is what do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Amongst all the chaos and rush of my last semester of uni, I decided to embark on a journey to Vietnam in search for some inspiration and honestly to escape the noise. Okay, not that type of noise. I mean the noise that tells you that you aren't good enough and no matter what you do, you won't ever be. The noise that lingers in your ear like a mosquito buzzing around you in the middle of the night. That toxic type of noise that says you're running out of time or that you're not able to be productive or you're not as successful as those around you. That type of noise. Coming to Vietnam, I didn't want to put any pressure on myself, so I had no expectations at all. I decided to embrace the go with the flow mentality, something so unfamiliar to me, being the checklist type of person I am. Last night I was at the club and um, basically I met up with John and his friends. They're all hungover this morning. I think they're still sleeping. I got up at 6. I got home at like 2.30. Um, so I've had like four hours of sleep, but you know what? We're in Vietnam, baby. We're in Vietnam. The simple smile at strangers led me to sharing meals with them as we conversed about our solo adventures around the world. Honestly, it was so comforting to meet different types of people that were on their own little journey to find what they were searching for. So come along with me and I guess this is episode one of my Vietnam series as I attempt to silence this noise. Whoa.